Hi, I'm Dan Hernandez. I'd like to welcome you to this week's episode of Sport Fishing. Well, today we're down the East Cape. I have my parents out with me today. We'll be staying at Hotel Buena Vista Beach Resort. And what we're doing right now, we're, we're offshore about 30 miles, fishing for tuna with schools of porpoise. So stay tuned for this week's exciting episode of Sport Fishing. Welcome to Sport Fishing with Dan Hernandez. This week's episode of Sport Fishing is brought to you by Bradley Smokers, when you only want the very best. Magic Metal Jigs and Bucktail Jigs. By Game Saver. Preserve your fish, use a Game Saver. And by Dan Hernandez Dipping Sauces and Fish Batter. Well, we've got the first fish of the day going right now. We were trolling this hoochie way back there, and uh, pretty sure it's a small yellowfin. But the, this area, we see all these boats. There's a lot of porpoise around, and the tuna are swimming right underneath the porpoise. So that's what we're going to be doing part of the day today is chasing these porpoise, trying to get the, the tuna to bite. Hello. And we're going to be using both uh, trolling methods and uh, we don't have any live bait on the boat today, so if we do use bait, we have some cut squid that we can toss out. Uh, reports were yesterday that the boats caught quite a few tuna using cut squid. They're just chunking it and dropping it down in front of the porpoise. Here's the first tuna of the day, nice yellow fin, and I uh, got that on this little hoochie, just dragging it behind us. We're trolling these, and we have some bomber jigs in the water too that we're trolling and uh, a nice tuna. Hopefully we get a bunch more of these. My mom just got this Dorado, it's a little one. Julio's gonna let it go. Really. It's a little Dorado. All right, we're gonna keep trolling here, looking. See if we can get a Marlin, but we're, we're kind of close to the beach. There might be Wahoo here, there might be more Dorado, hopefully some bigger Dorado. And then later in the show, we're gonna go offshore, go see, get some tuna, and uh, a better, maybe a little bit better shot at a Marlin too. All right, let's see if we get some more fish. What we're doing right now is chunking for tuna. And in that bucket is uh, little pieces of cut squid. And uh, Julio's just chumming it out there, right up on the surface. And we're getting some boils on tuna. What we're trying to do right now is catch some tuna. The tuna is swimming with the porpoise. Did some trolling, we got two fish trolling. Then it kind of died off. Haven't had a fish for about an hour or so. Trying something a little bit different. We're getting in front of school, schools of the porpoise, stopping the boat and throwing handfuls of cut squid. And then we put a, a larger chunk of squid on a hook on one of these rods. So hopefully that'll work. Some of the boats are doing good on that. We heard on the radio, so we thought we'd try it. 
Let's take a little break from the action and go to the tackle box to give you a good look at the fishing tackle we're using for today's trip out here on the beautiful East Cape. This week, the tackle box is brought to you by Cabela, America's foremost outfit. This week in the Tackle Box, I want to talk to you a little bit about what we're doing this week, fishing for tuna around schools of porpoise. And the way we do that lots of times is we get in front of them and we drop back a live bait. But on this particular trip, we didn't have a lot of live bait. So what we had to do was use chunks of squid. And what we did was we actually used the squid to chum in front of the porpoise, because the porpoise are often chasing schools of squid. But we take little chunks of those giant squid that we're catching, cut them up, use them as chum, and then put a hook in one and drop it back. And the hook we're using is something like this, a size 4.0 to 5.0 size hook, real simple hook to use, live bait hook, and you just put it in there one time and drop it back. I know it sounds kind of weird, it's something we probably wouldn't do here in Southern California, but down in Mexico, chunking, and even all throughout Mexico, long range boats do a lot of chunking. They usually use other fish, bait fish, but down here in the East Cape, we use squid a lot. Chunks of squid works great. Now, if you're not sure what hook size or what type of hook you need, you can order one of my Dan Hernandez offshore kits. And in it, we have a wide selection of hooks. And the hooks that we'd be using in the East Cape are in here, too. And then there's also smaller hooks, just in case you do have some small sardinas that you can throw on them. Most of the time when I'm in Mexico, there's you know plenty of small sardinas that we use for chum to make the tuna come up. Well, I'll fly line one of those and catch the tuna on that. But on this particular trip, there was no live bait. We had to go with the cut squid. Okay, well, let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. We got a double right now on tuna. We're using that chunking technique where Fully was throwing some bait in the water and we threw the dead squid out there, little pieces. My dad's hooked up, my mom's got one. My mom might need some help though. There you go. Just lay them out flat. Just wind it one more time. Back, back, back. There you go. Nice fish. Okay, we got the fish up to here to color. It's the fish that my mom hooked. She started with, and it's right here. It's about ready to gaff. Okay, gancho. Right here. There we go. Bring them up again. Nice tuna. This is the one my mom hooked. I had to help her with it. Nice yellowfin tuna, quality fish. We're gonna try this one more time so we can get a few more fish and then uh, probably end the day going closer to shore, trying to get uh, a marlin or something like that, maybe a wahoo, dorado. Never know out here, all those fish live here. Here, mom, here's your fish. Hotel Buena Vista is one of my favorite places to stay in all of Mexico, especially down here in the East Cape. The Valdez family has been in business down here for over 40 years, and they know exactly what you're looking for when you're looking for a resort in the East Cape. Nice clean rooms, great food, and just a wonderful facility 
They have their own boats, and it's a great place to go fishing. For your next trip to the East Cape, I really recommend you book a trip to Hotel Buena Vista. Okay, here we go again. Okay, Dad, just like that, take your time, let them run. Oh, it's running. I know, let them run. That's a good one. That's a real good one. Take a picture of it. There's a nice tuna my dad just caught. Nice tuna. Julio hooked it up on a piece of squid. We were chunking those, those little strips of squid, and this tuna came through and got it. Big quality fish. All right, well, we're going to take a little break from the action and go to the galley and show you how to cook up one of these delicious tuna that we're catching today down here in the beautiful East Cape. Nice fish, Dad. Very good. Thank you, Dan. This week, the galley is brought to you by Dan Hernandez Dipping Sauces and Fish Batters. Look for them in your local supermarket. This week in the galley, we're back in beautiful Hotel Buena Vista Beach Resort. And uh, Felipe has been kind enough to invite Hello. us back. Thanks again, Felipe. <laughs> You're welcome, then. And our chef? Freddy. Hey, Freddy. Thanks for having us again. And what is it that you have for us? He's going to do a, um, a plate that we do with, uh, with fresh tuna, carpaccio. Uh -huh. So we do it here at the hotel for, for our guests. And it's a, a raw fish? A raw fish. Like a sashimi type? Exactly. OK, cool. Well, let's get started. Mm -hmm. It's gonna take a, a fillet of tuna and start doing its uh, very thin cuts. And see how it goes in, from one side to the other. Okay, so now we have our, our fish cut. What's the next step? A little bit of salt on the plate. Salt on the plate without the fish on top of it. Check how it's going to cut the lemon here. That's what I'm doing. Some drops of lemon. Continue with red red uh, onion, piece of red onion. We have an habanero chile. A habanero? Yes. Ooh. Be careful. Nice and hot. Nice and hot, not too many, just a little bit. Oregano? The oregano. Just gonna put some olive oil. Soy sauce. Soy sauce. That looks good. And then rice thinner. That's ready to go, right? That's ready to go. And send me with more lemon on top of it now. Mm -hmm. And uh, same as um, with other like ceviche dishes, you let it sit on the on the fridge for 15 minutes to get its pressure, mm -hmm. and it's ready to go. So you I gotta try. taste this stuff. Mm -hmm. Try with a little chip. Be careful with the habanero. Oh, that's right. I like habanero.
Now that habanero piece is really good. That tastes really good. Well, thank you, Freddy. Okay. That's just, thank you, Felipe. This is really good. We're having a great time down here fishing. I have a group down here, about 30 anglers, flew down from all over the country in the United States, and we're just having a great time fishing down here for three days, I'm staying five days, and it's just one of the beautiful, delicious dishes you can get here. It's just wonderful to be here. Thanks again, guys. Well, let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. Now they said it hit the Rapala. That marlin came up and he striked our bomber lure, didn't hook it, and just hit slapped it. Then went back to the outrigger, swam on that bait, slapped it a couple times. Then we threw a ballyhoo back there and it slapped it, and then it went back. There it is on the surface. Went back to the lure that was on the outrigger and finally bit it. Then jump. Right here by the boat. It's already a leader. There's the marlin. Nice sized fish. Yeah. More on it, yeah. All right, this is the marlin I just caught. You can see the lure we're using there. It's one of our favorite colors. Okay. okay. There's a the lure. Nice fish, beautiful fish. We're gonna go ahead and release this guy. That's it right there. A little sucker fish. All right. All right, let's release. There he goes. That's just a little. Hey, Captain. Good job. Thanks, Dad. There he is, right on the surface. He's gonna jump again. He's gonna jump right now. There he is, right on top. So we're still moving forward, because there's another marlin in this area, and we're trying to see if we can hook that one too. So I gotta fight the boat and the fish. He's right up there on the top, there he is. Gonna jump one more time. There he goes. Come to the surface. Come to the surface. Right here. Right here at the boat. There he is. Yeah. Catch. Okay. Let's see if he jumps again. There he goes. Catch. Okay. Yeah, probably jump right here. There it is. Oh! Nice jump. Yeah! I got it. Oh! Beautiful marlin, just caught this guy. We're gonna release it really quick. I'm gonna cut the line. Oh, I'm gonna cut the line. Okay, this is a fish. 
just caught beautiful marlin, striped marlin, thanks to Julio getting that bait on it. We're gonna lease this fish so it doesn't get hurt. Nice quality, quality fish you got here on the East Cape. Beautiful striped marlin. All right, really. There she goes. Good shape. All right, Dustin Sula. Thanks, Kev. Okay, my friend. Good job. Good job. We can go home now. All right, when we return, I'll be giving you this week's tip of the week. That was awesome. Woo! This week's tip of the week is brought to you by Magic Metal Jigs and Bucktail Jigs. For this week's tip of the week, the big tip is just, if you've never been down the East Cape, you really need to try coming down here. There's a lot of resorts to stay at. The one I usually always stay at is right here at Hotel Buena Vista Beach Resort. It's a great place. It's just really easy from where you stay, where you eat, to getting on the boats. Everything's very convenient. It's just a great place to stay. So that's this week's tip. If you've never been to the East Cape, come on down, you'll really enjoy it. So you guys had a good time? Very good. Thanks, Dan. My mom, my dad. Thanks, and had a great Father's Day. I want to thank you. I really enjoyed it. It one of my best Father's Days I ever had. Good, good. We had a great time great fishing. Time, great fishing. We had a great time, caught a lot of fish. It's been a lot of fun down here in the East Cape. From my dad, my mom, I'm Dan Hernandez, hoping you enjoyed this week's episode of Sport Fishing. And I hope you join us again next week as we go looking for more of the best in sport fishing.